Morning, how to pulse again here. Uh, I've got a brand new instance of MetaMask loaded on my computer. I've got a brand new Trezor, never been touched. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through a migration of a seed word uh, or seed phrase into the Model 1. All right, let's get started. So you're going to go to Trezor.io. Okay, and this is going to be the landing screen, the, the home page here. And in this case, I already own a Trezor. All right, it's going to take us to the download desktop app page. Okay, and we're going to get the desktop app. I am on Apple. It gives you multiple uh, areas or, or Windows operating systems, Linux operating systems that you can download this to. Um, but I've already got the suite downloaded on this computer, so I'm not going to download it again. Uh, but you could basically uh, hit that download and it's going, going to download Trezor Suite for you, okay? And you do have to have Trezor Suite to set up the hardware wallet. So we're going to go right to Trezor Suite. Okay, it says connect your Trezor device. So we are going to connect the Trezor. Okay, and as you can see, it's starting up. And on the screen here, we have set up Trezor. Okay, firmware is ready. It's been updated to the 1.10.4. And you have the option of creating a new wallet or doing a recovery wallet. So in this case, since we're gonna be recovering a C phrase that, you know, maybe you have a MetaMask now that you staked from or you have assets that you cannot move from that metamask this is where you'd want to migrate right so if we can take the 12 words from your uh, metamask instance that has these stakes and things on there and we can take it right into this treasure so we're going to hit recover wallet and metamask does use a 12 word and make sure you're hitting advanced recovery Standard recovery require you to enter these words on your computer, and this is what we're trying to avoid with the Trezor itself. So we're going to go to Advanced Recovery, and it says Recover Wallet from Seed, and you want to confirm on the Trezor. And as you can see, it's asking for confirmation. So it's going to get us right into the words. And as you can see on the computer, we have a nine-button uh, nine grid. And on the screen of the Trezor itself, we have a nine button grid. So the, the buttons on the computer screen correlate with the buttons on the uh, screen of the Trezor. Uh, this is not touch screen. You cannot do anything like that. You can't use these uh, buttons to go up and down or anything like that. You will have to use the interface of the computer itself. So we'll just get right into this. Uh, the first word I'm gonna use for this is uh, the word safe. So if you look on the screen, left side middle is the S. So we'll click on that. The next one would be SA. So we have SA through SAC. So we'll click on that one. And then we have SAF. So that's gonna be uh, the D through I, right? Click on that. And right on the top right is safe. So we're gonna click that. That's the first word. Second word business so the bottom right and BU is top left and guys take your time with this um, just make sure you're clicking on the right buttons there is a backspace if you need to go back you can go back um, but you got to get these words in order and spelled properly so mango is my next word M, M, A, and M, A, N, and there's mango bottom right. All right. Uh, see, I've even made a mistake. I'm putting the wrong words in here. Uh, my second word here is way, W, A, Y. So as you see, I just backed out. The first word was safe, that's correct. 
Uh, I backed up. I'm back to the second word. Um, w, where are we here? T is a Z, top right corner. Okay, and then W, A, W, A, Y, and there's way. All right, average. A to X, A V, average, mother, um, M O, M O to S T, and mother, okay, layer. L, L, A, and L, A, W, Z, and we have layer, okay, and we have rare, R, A, R, E, so R, R, A, R, A, R, and there's rare. A combine C C O C O M at the top, and then we have combine bottom right. And toe. Increase H, or, uh, we have I, and then I N through I V, and then I N C, and increase. Okay, excite E. There's EXC and then Excite right here. Okay, and then Fetch. F, F E. And then this guy here. And then Fetch is top left. Alright, last word is follow. F. Uh, F O F O L and there's follow. All right. Recovery completed. Hit continue. Set up a pen. Confirm on the treasure. Okay. And the same thing. We have the nine box uh, layout with the numbers here. We're just going to do a quick uh, one, two. Three, four, hit enter. Those are going to re-scramble to a different order. We're going to do it again. One, two, three, four. Hit OK. All right, so we have a pin number set. And here's where you're going to pick which coins that you want to activate. Uh, we're just going to do an Ethereum address for now. Come back down to the bottom, hit setup. Okay, if you want to edit the name of this treasure so you know what it is when you plug it in, um, you just name it. Okay, confirm. So now it's named test one there. So now we're going to go straight to access the suite. And in this case, since we recovered a wallet that may already have funds in it, we have to use standard wallet. If you use passphrase, 
Um, that's not going to get you uh, to the wallet you're looking for. That's going to start a different wallet. So we're going to go to standard. And it says your wallet's not ready to use. Okay. If you want to hit the receive button here, show the full address. It shows you the public address associated with the seed words that were just put into this wallet, into this treasure. And now you're ready to uh, make a connection to a MetaMask. Okay. So we will close this for now. We're going to open up this guy and we're going to go right to a MetaMask. This is the same MetaMask that um, I just downloaded into the Trezor. Okay, it's the same seed words. You can see the A.30 is the um, public address. Okay, and it matches with this one, A-30. So in this case, you would have to now delete this instance of MetaMask off of your computer and go in and download a new one, okay? So you can literally here, remove from Chrome. Yes, remove. Go right to uh, metamask.io, download Chrome, install for Metamask for Chrome, add to Chrome, add extension. Okay, if you go up here to the puzzle piece, when that is downloaded, it will be up in your extensions manager. We'll give that a second to upload and then we're going to go in and open a brand new extension of MetaMask and I'll show you how to connect this to the MetaMask instance here. This usually takes about 20 or 30 seconds for this to happen. Okay, so there's our extension to Chrome. We're opening the brand new extension. Get started, create a new wallet, right? So we're gonna create a new wallet, create a password. Okay. Um, there is a video on how to protect your seeds. You can watch that, get familiar with that. Click here to reveal secret seeds. So you do want to write these down. You'll have to put them back in um, just for a confirmation here in just a second. And we'll get started with that. And then we'll connect this hardware wallet. Done here. Okay. And I have written these down. Please make sure that you write them down appropriately. All right. So here we go. We have stand. Stereo. All right, so we've put the seed words in. Now you can see I have a brand new account, 88E8. All right, and that's different from the one we just put in the treasure. So to connect this treasure to see the account for treasures, and as you can see right here, it says you just have account one, which is the MetaMask account. You're gonna hit select hardware wallet. Obviously we're gonna click on treasure. 
and hit continue. <clears throat> Allow Chrome extension permission to export your public key. It wants to see the public address. Go ahead and export. Okay, we did not put a passphrase, so your passphrase is actually no characters, so leave that blank. Hit enter. Here is the A or 3A30 account that we just saw in the treasure suite. So we'll click on that, hit unlock, and now we are on treasure one, 3A30. You have account one, 88E8, and you have the treasure one account. So that's it, guys. This is uh, migrating a Trezor from a previous seed, deleting the MetaMask, installing a new MetaMask, and then connecting that Trezor to the new instance of MetaMask. I hope this helps everybody out, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.